A question from my male fan base. Would you date this woman if you could? Yes. No. Maybe. Well, I've got bad and good news for you. The bad news is that she's a lesbian. But the good news is that science claims we're all bisexual, so you could still have a chance with her. But that really is the case. If research says that straight people don't exist, doesn't that mean gay people don't exist either? This shirt makes a good point. I'm with the shirt! Ever since 2015, there have been articles claiming that scientific research has found that straight people are just non-existent, which they push on to this day. What's even more surprising is that almost no one has responded to this and even a video on a social justice warrior channel has not seen criticism about it. But hey, when you have a very good product that's in short supply but has a large demand, you can see what something can be done. When you have a study that can be nullified by a person in his own house, then you know that it's not science but clearly being pushed by an agenda. So without further ado, I'm going to tear this study limb from limb. All of the articles state the same thing. A group of men and women were asked to watch homosexual porn. They didn't measure arousal through genitalia because that's invasive. However, they measured it by whether or not their eyes were dilated. And because your eyes dilate when you like something, they took it as a positive response to porn. According to research from a new study at Cornell University, no one is 100% straight. Everyone is gay. My brother and my sister are too gay, gay, gay. Rent anyone? <laughs> what is happening? This is Inform Overload where we overload you with information, occasionally information that you might disagree with, but hey, I'm all right with a bit of disagreement in the name of science. By the way, I'm Charlotte. Sexuality is being called into question following a study at Cornell University. According to psychologist Dr. Lisa Diamond of the University of Utah, historically, sexual orientation models assumed only two categories, homosexual or heterosexual. Anything in between is regarded as transitional, experimental, or confused. <laughs> Confused is my favorite. Not my favorite. I'm making fun of it. Researchers at Cornell University asked volunteers to watch several adult films to see what types of porn turned them on. The volunteers were both male and female, and as they watched each film, their pupils were measured. Dilation of the pupils is a sign of arousal, less invasive than measuring. Dilation of the pupils is not something you can control. The results were, women were turned on by watching both men and women, even if they identified as heterosexual. And this isn't something that's exclusive to women. The men studied also looked at porn films featuring only other men, and their pupils also dilated. The difference is, men have a harder time admitting that they could have other sexual preferences and are less inclined to say it because of societal pressures. Well, that makes sense. The lead author of the study, Rich Savin Williams, concludes that sexuality exists exists on a spectrum, as in we are all just a little bit bisexual. The research also suggests that younger generations are more open to the idea of being bisexual, and also that your sexuality can change throughout the course of your life. Whether you agree with this research or not, sexual preference is a really complicated thing, a lot more complicated than previously thought. There are conflicting studies that suggest that being gay is actually written in your genetic makeup. Researchers at North Shore University found that parts of your DNA can influence whether a man is gay or straight. So just because porn featuring the same sex turns you on, that doesn't mean you should come out to your parents. How awkward would that convo be? Mom, Dad, girl porn turns me on, so I think I'm a lesbian. Don't do that. Point is, it really doesn't matter who you're into, but you shouldn't be ashamed of it, and you shouldn't judge others over it either. All right, you guys, that's all I have for you on that. I'm gonna respond to some comments now. Now let's get to the bottom of this. Pupil dilation can be a sign of attraction, but it isn't only a sign of attraction. For starters, pupils can widen because of using drugs, also known as dilation response, which occurs when the smooth cells of the radial muscle contract. I bet the study didn't do any drug tests. Pupils will also dilate from involuntary reflex reaction when the eye is exposed to light or when the person is paying attention to detail. Both of these can be activated when looking at a computer screen and the subject inside it. Dilation of the pupils will also happen when a person is exposed to stress or disgust as from a biological standpoint. When we are in a dangerous situation, our eyes need to widen to spot every detail in the area. Based on the video by The Human Experiment, a sister channel of BuzzFeed, you can clearly see the men's reaction to that stuff with disgust and resentment, all of which are reasons for dilated pupils. The pharaoh was upset and even more stimulated when he was being watched. Pharaoh was sexually obsessed and even more stimulated when he was 
watched. <laughs> was that supposed to be Morgan Freeman narrating it or something? What the fuck? Whoa, this looks, this looks like a 90s like movie that a high schooler made. I was not expecting to see that so quick. I have like a, a human centipede thing going on. At least shave, man. Fuck. Okay, I'm gonna go to a part where it's not zoomed in on his penis. Oh, now he's butt fucking him. I felt uncomfortable watching it. That, that's all well kind of thought. But I'm surprised they weren't lectured for being homophobic. But really, concluding that all people are bi from pupil dilation is like concluding that all Mexicans like cheese from a sample size of five Mexicans. How come no one has called out these people for this so-called experiment. Their methods are so flawed that they can be disproved in an instant's notice. Quite hilarious to see the comments too. If straight people don't exist, neither do gay or bisexual people. But if they said homosexuality doesn't exist, you and the whole LGBT would be on it. But the, sorry, the grammar just killed me. <laughs> I'm not sure if I can say this with a straight face. Heterophobia is real and ruining this country. Uh, shame on you, Vice. Uh, straight is beautiful. Uh, this stupid fucking SpongeBob meme. Nature tells us we are here to reproduce. <laughs> Even if we put religion aside, nature still reminds us of our purpose. Hashtag protect the child. Good, Trump saying wrong, of course. I love you, Vice, but this is pure garbage. Street people don't exist. Me reading this. Mm. And then someone literally posting... Uh, Jesus Christ. You know, when people say, like, Islam is bad because it's, like, sexist and homophobic and shit like this, 